Okay, so um, I think we're going to be doing the Archive of Fates Untold quest. Oh, you know what? I have another quest I can add to the list, but we're going to do Archives of Fate first. Um, actually, we'll pick up this quest along the way. So, uh, because we reached Honored with the rovers, we can actually pick up the final rover quest. Yeah, and I forgot there's a there's another quest for De for uh, Devil's Crossing that we need as well. But do I have anything in my rings and amulet? I don't. Ooh, I have the health ones on those. So yeah, I think we can go for. I forgot about that. So yeah, we're gonna go into the Steps of Torment. I have that skeleton key still floating around. Steps of Torment. Hmm. Probably say it's a little trickier to get to. It's like a slightly longer walk. But I'm gonna skip fighting all the beasts that are out here. Steps of Torment though, I'd still say it's a good farming spot. It takes like two seconds longer to walk to. It's the only difference now. Jeez. Okay, I definitely want the bristly furs. I don't really care about the yellows right now. Almost to the point where I'm going to switch yellows off, actually. The only reason I still have them on now is because they give... Like, you can get some gold off them. I'd probably say around level 50 yellows become, they just drop right off. There are a couple like ring combinations you can get on yellow items that are really good. Like I think it's Vampiric of Attack can actually be a really good ring. Um, but otherwise epics, rares and epics um, completely overshadow what what magical can bring to the table and around level 50 is when you start to be able to equip legendaries which definitely overshadow definitely overshadow yellows man I splatted that ghost jeez dang it Well, we, we splattered that skeleton, too. So, uh, whenever I'm going down to the Gates of Anguish, I tend to rush the areas. And I'll explain the specifics of the Gates of Anguish when we get down there. Yep, we gotta run this way. Ghosts and ghosts. <laughs> Two clusters of ghosts always pop up in that hallway. They're always a step behind. <laughs> step behind me just running on through them. Oh, I should have seen if... Gone and seen if there was a treasure trove to the... Yeah, I should have went for a treasure trove, honestly, when I think about it. But I am current it's like if I if I weren't recording right now, I would actually run back to see if the treasure trove spawned. 
But I'm recording right now, so we're just running on through everything. Yeah, Arcane Mines is gonna be awesome with this guy. It's not it's not gonna be super amazing awesome like it is with my my Albrex Aether Ray guy, but it's still gonna be a really awesome ability to work into this guy's rotation. Okay, so, <laughs> the Gates of Anguish. I think most people just refer to this as the Steps of Torment still. But, uh, the Gates of Anguish. What you need is a Skeleton Key. And you're given one for completing the quest to kill Zartha Zelen. You're given one by, uh, Calderos. So, uh, you need a Skeleton Key to enter. And actually, if you wait outside the doors too long, they'll close on you. So when we enter in here, we, you may have noticed... Yeah, your connection with the Rift Gates um, leaves you in this place. There's always that spawn there. Sometimes it's a heroic spawn, most of the time it's not, and I just skip it if it's not. So, the Steps of Torment um, is a roguelike dungeon. What that means is, if you, if you die, you can't leave it, obviously. And if you die in it, you're, you're just kicked out. And you pretty much have to restart your game to get back in here. And you have to run through all... Okay, all of the... Uh, um, broken Hills. You have to run through all of the steps to get back here on a new game. Um, and it sucks when you're given a quest that is in this place. Because if you die... If you die in the game, you die for real. So I'm actually gonna... Gonna play a little risky here though chamber of souls is affectionately called the room of death why is it called the room of death well because um because it is wave after wave of undead that you have to fight through and um depending on which ones spawn this can actually be super super deathy <laughs> like i whoops i have not i didn't get anything really a obnoxiously terrible yet but uh yeah you can actually get a lot of uh a lot well there's a skeletal monstrosity in here so um you uh you can actually get quite a bit that'll kill you just outright um if you're if you're unlucky but for the most part you can uh you can run around the circle on the outside here and you'll be fine There are only a few, like, really abhorrent, really abhorrent enemies that can pop up here. Um, these two together are actually probably one of them. I, I, but like I said, I didn't really pull a terrible one, a terrible room of death. But you can see why it would get, why it's called the room of death. Because if you're, if you're not careful, um, things can end horribly for you. However, you get a lot of loot out of it. And we just completed it. <laughs> um, I am actually... We're done with yellows. That's just too much crap on the screen. So once you beat it, um, you get all of the loot spheres for all of the guys. Um, all the ghosts you killed. All the vital essences, all the drops. And you get the Bone Reliquary. And the Bone Reliquary is essentially... Um, like an exalted chest that's always there. Hulking Leg Guards. Um... So yeah, we, we got a not bad one, so it wasn't too difficult. But yeah, that's the Room of Death, Chamber of Souls. Now, for for the Gates of Anguish, um, I usually just try to run through all the trash mobs. It, it works better with some characters than with others. Like this guy, he's only okay at running through trash mobs. So uh, we'll probably have to stop and kill some occasionally. And I know I'm going to stop at these guys and kill them because um, I'll point out the other thing about the steps that can be annoying sometimes. 
So, uh, when we come to this door right here, um, and enter this room, that door won't lock on us, but you can see we got this, this stuff happening. There are traps throughout this place. So, when there are traps, they come in two forms for the, uh, steps of torment. This little, like, thermite mine, that's vitality, cold vitality damage, and then those, which I believe are cold vitality damage as well. I actually don't know the specific damage types. I've always just assumed Cold Vitality because we're fighting ghosts. Oh look, here's the guy we need. Lucky, lucky us. So I am actually going to fight him before I do anything. Because Shade of uh, El, El Nadrin is actually a really strong guy and a really annoying guy to fight. Um... Because he summons, he can eventually summon, he can get, like, priest if he's lucky on the summoning. Because I think he just pulls up all of the normal types of undead. Yeah, I think that's a priest. Was that a priest up there? Um, uh, no, that was a warrior. Uh, <laughs> and he's actually kind of tough to deal with. Because he does, he does some pretty good damage. And, um, he does pretty good damage, he can teleport after you, he's pretty robust. So he's actually kind of a, a challenge for a hero. And, um... Yeah, he, he can be a pain. Oh my god, the damn doorway! So we're gonna go in here. That's gonna lock. This is a boss room. Um... I want the Skeletal Knight dead first. Oh, hey. Shield of Perdition. So, when we enter here, that doesn't... There's no trick... That didn't trigger the guy be destroying that little grave there. But, um... Yeah, uh... What is this? Il Ilgore the Eternal is a boss in this room. And he'll have a bunch of... A bunch of ads with him as well. So, you kill him once and he'll spawn right back. And he always summons up ghosts. Which is kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah, he summons ghosts. I want this priest dead. <laughs> um, and then he'll, like, he'll, he'll go through two forms. One is a little harder than the, the second's a little harder than the first, but not a lot, um. If I'm, if I'm racing a quest in this area, because the shade can actually spawn on either this level or this level. Um, I think. So, uh, yeah, if the shade if the shade forms um, later on, I tend to skip him. Or if I'm doing the secret quest, I tend to skip. If I have to do secret quest, I will absolutely skip that room because I don't want to die in there and have to redo everything. Um... And, uh, normally, <laughs> well, I shouldn't say normally, one of the formations you can get down here is to have, uh, rocks blocking off this bridge. So that's a normal thing for me to have happen, is rocks right there. But I didn't get them that time. So, uh, in this lower level... There's a challenge room, which I'm not going to go in, because I have died comically on camera to it. And, uh... Oh, I walked right through it. Um... <laughs> Ouch. No, 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 no! Oh, come on! Well, I got the thing I needed. No Alcamos fight in this run. So in the center of the bottom area, there's a guy named um, Alcamos, the Lord Executioner. And he is actually um, 
not too bad, too difficult an end boss for that area. Um, he drops a cool scythe, and he has a giant-ass treasure room behind him. So, uh, yeah, that's upsetting. But, can't go back in there unless I make another skeleton key. Don't really want to go back in there to just finish it off. Dying in there happens. I think I got caught by a skeleton monstrosity's bone cage. And then just pummeled on. Because that upper corner is a bitch. Um, I actually prefer going down. Going like south. And then east. I don't like the north corner of that. And I'll also point out there is a vendor in there. Who will sell you spectral weaponry. That can roll really well. And occasionally bl blueprints. But yeah, archive. Um, now respected with her. So now she's going to want us to get Pulsating Obsidian from the Bastion of Chaos. Another, another roguelike dungeon in the game. That one might not happen in a playthrough, because I'm not a big fan of Bastion of Chaos. But we might do it still, or at least attempt it. Anyways, um, that was kind of the Steps of Torment with me dying embarrassingly in it. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. And next time, we will be going after the Ashes of the Chosen... And then going after the uh, pieces for the Shrine of Mugdragon. So I'll see you guys then.